All right, y'all. I got my iced coffee I just made with pecan butter in here. I'm stirring it around. I can taste it. Oh, so good. What I got right here, I didn't feel like ordering from DoorDash. Plus, it's a rainy South Florida day. And I had some leftover oxtails. And it's kind of soupy. But, and it's piping hot. And I'm hungry. And I really don't feel like cooking anything. I was going to make some grits with this. But, oxtails it is. Mmm, it's hot, hot. So let's eat together. Let's be quiet. Let's listen to the rain and let's just smack. It's got butter beans in it. Couple of bones. These are homemade drops I had these marinating for about a week. I marinate them and then I put them in the freezer. And when I'm ready, I take them out, defrost them, brown them, put them in a the crock pot. It's so hot, my nose starting to run. Mm. I've been having a taste of the oxtail. I made the gravy in soupy so it's almost like a soup mm -hmm. mm. things so hot and tender I'm doing nothing today, thank God. I'm on vacation for two weeks. I was chilling. Been on Netflix, about to get on Hulu, see what they got going. I've been watching movies, watching marathons, series marathons. God has been so good. Yes, he has. Hold on, y'all. My nose is about to run. I feel it. So, I've been chilling. Literally. Get up in the morning. Take a shower. Get myself together like I'm about to go somewhere and don't go nowhere. Sometimes I order door dash around one o'clock ish. Try not to, cause a it's expensive, and b every time I order like a meal or whatever, I won't eat dinner cause I'm still full. Mm. Damn, I'm hot. So try not to spend too much. Child, my son wants a damn tattoo. That's all. You know I'm rolling my eyes to that. Even though I have tattoos and his dad has tattoos. Hmm. It's like a double standard when it's your kids. But you know they don't get it anyways. So, I'm procrastinating. 
going to get him there. But grateful to see another day. Um, Y'all seen that thing with Tasha K and um, Kevin Hart? That's one thing. One thing you have to worry about when you are a celebrity. People trying to extort you for money. Even though, even though it may be true. At this point, I don't put it past nobody. I really don't care. Obviously, it hurts his brand, so whatever he has going. But as a consumer, I don't care. I think the only people that should care is him and his wife. Um, you know. Sometimes they say, we're going to cheat once, you going to cheat again. Sometimes people accept it. Maybe she knew. Maybe they got to understand them. Which, that's their business. But I really don't care. You'd be surprised how many freaks out there. Well, couples. That don't go. Damn, this gravy good. I don't care. Just like I don't want nobody caring about my relationship. Don't care. I've noticed a lot, like, in TikToks or just in general. People love telling their business. I don't know if it's for sympathy. I'm assuming it's for the, the, the views and the shares. What is it really that worth it? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it? Damn. I don't get it. Whatever. Especially when it comes to your relationship. I think your relationship is very sacred. And only two people should be knowing what's going on. In it. So, child, I don't know. Ow! Damn. It's hot. Mm. Mm. But that sounds like celebrity problems. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. With the butter beans with. Mm-hmm. She did that. Mm. Oh, mm. Now I can pick it up. Y'all make sure y'all suck that bone, get all that juice. Mm. <laughs> what a combination. Coffee and collard greens. We're going to see how this stomach go in the next five minutes. We're going to see. Mm, look at this. Nothing but goodness. Mmm, mmm.